Hello and welcome back to the channel and the home of the Northern Premier League Division 1 Midlands Champions Hinkley Leicester Road. Today's episode is the transfer window as we prepare for live in Tier 7. We don't know what division we're going to be in yet. It's one of these ones where it depends who gets promoted and relegated from each of the leagues to see where we end up. So we'll get that at some point in this episode, probably around the June, July time. So we'll bring you that when it's announced. As for signings i'm not sure exactly where we're going to go in terms of signings if we have a look at squad depth we have only really oscar massey as a striker in those attacking midfield roles we've got a number of players that can play all across the fr that front three dj Rilamo, era jackson jr jay rollins chris Hughes can only play centrally central midfield we might be a little bit short in flickcroft williams and hodnett are the only out and out central midfielders that we have Centre-backs, Zach Pianin, Lewis Tallick, Hugo Jenkinson, Oscar Burgess Towers and Louis Hutchins can all play at centre-back. Right-back, we've got Tallick, Anakin and Baggin, and left-back, we've got Warren, Campbell and Baggin. We might need to just improve on them. We also probably do need a backup goalkeeper. We move these to the three-star minimum and get a bit. Central defence, we look pretty good. It's just everywhere else. We don't seem to have enough depth probably compete at the higher level so we're looking to try to improve the squad as a whole once again and also trying to keep together the core of this side we don't want to shake it up too much i'm not one of these i don't want to like to just completely change the 11 if i can help it i like to try and keep the core of the previous squad together even if a lot of them aren't going to start I like to keep them around the squad as bench players they're signing in through the door. Jonathan McCauley is a 19-year-old goalkeeper, two-star current ability, five-star potential ability. He comes in as a backup goalkeeper and he's agreed backup goalkeeper. So we shouldn't have any issues there. We've brought him in on an appearance fee, £75 in appearance. So that is good. It's not going to be a big issue if he leaves, I don't think. But we needed someone who knows that they're a backup keeper. Morgan Piper didn't want to be a backup keeper last season. He, again... There's some decent potential there if he can fulfil it. So I don't think this is a bad sign at all. Welcome in Jonathan McCauley. Also with that, we see Matthew Fenton commit his future to the club. The 19-year-old central midfielder will be back for his third season. He's played 39 games for us. Two goals, five assists in that time. Steady 6.85 rating after we brought him in from Fleetwood. Numbers-wise, not too bad. Decent teamwork, decent work rate, acceleration's good, standards okay. Again, it's another one of these little uh, central midfielders that we seem to have at the club. Long shots, very good at 11. Passing, exceptional at 14. Good aggression, 15. There's another one that we wanted to keep in the club because I feel like he is someone that's going to be here for a long time, especially if he can continue to keep improving. So Matthew Fenton, new deal, keeps him at the club. So Lewis Tallick leaves, he goes to Berry Town. Uh, Scott Reese has also left, well, leaving on the 30th of June. He's moving for, for money for £1.6,000. We have brought in Hugh Alban Jones, who's a three star defensive or central midfielder. Apparently, can be a good guy that League Two player. Uh, numbers wise, pretty steady mentally. I mean, 13 decision making, 12 leadership, 14 positioning, 14 team with 13 vision. His physicals do leave a lot to be desired. Stamina and strength, very poor. Again, another small player, 5 foot 8. Balance is good. I mean, at least the wind won't blow him over. Passing is pretty good. His first touch is pretty good. Tackling technique are okay. These numbers now need to be higher and higher. One thing I've noticed though, since we got promotion confirmed is we can't offer part-time contracts to anyone. Everyone is on a pay-per-play deal, which is frustrating because I do like to have a team of contracted players because that worry of losing players midway through a season is not really what i like to happen but we have to make do with what we've got we have got a core of players like i said that are on contracts for the next season or two so that's not a massive issue it's just some of these new boys we bring in might not be at the club long we can't get too attached to them three central defenders here finley jackson lucas berry and darren phillips darren phillips is the only one who looks half decent he's a 28 year old center back unlikely to improve from where he's now so a lot of great stars in these players so maybe they're better than we first thought but we've got them all in on two-week trials we need to bolster up that centre-back position especially as we lost Lewis Tallick Scott Reese is also on his way out I didn't tell you where he was going he's going to Biggleswade United 
and a couple of others Zach Pianim who's out of contract won't sign a new one so that's why we've got three of those in we may have to wait for the first of July and some of the release players to become available so two more defenders into the club we have Darren Phillips in on a free as everyone is a uh, 28 year old central defender trying to strengthen up that area of the pitch good heading good marking good tackling good positioning good teamwork work rates good natural fitness is good stamina and strength is good six foot two central defender pretty good in the areas that he needs to be not very good elsewhere he is coming he'll be more of a backup centre back and Finley Jackson who again probably more of a backup centre back good heading good marking good tackling good positioning decision making aggression his physicals are pretty good his natural fitness is a little bit questionable but he comes in as our fourth best central defender on star rating so as to it bolsters it up as well because behind uh, Hutchins, Burgess Towers and Jenkinson we didn't really have an awful lot so Finley Jackson, Darren Phillips fill in that gap and we have a little bit more strength in depth. Two more players in through the door, two forwards Tommy Wright and Reese Miller. Tommy Wright is an out and out striker, 11 finishing, physicals are pretty good apart from the fact he can't jump and he can't battle anyone off, he's 5 foot 6 centre forward, 16 determination, 15 bravery, 12 acceleration, 11 pace should be decent, should provide sort of challenge to Oscar Massey and the other one is Reese Miller nothing really in the technicals a lot of sixes and sevens in there uh, physically, pace of 13, uh, agility of 11, natural fitness of 14, strength of 10 5 foot 7 so looks like more of a quick uh, in behind sort of striker so he comes in as well they look like both of them should provide a challenge to Oscar Massey and should give us a lot more strength in depth because we have no strikers apart from Oscar Massey as of the first of July because Lewis Clements will be out of the door come there so we're in the Southern League Premier Central two teams that used to be local to me Hal's Owen and the non-league team that I used to follow Stourbridge are in the division with us How's own? We obviously played a couple. I think it was last season, or was it the season before? I think it was the season before last we played them. Uh, Stamford, who came up with us last season, they're in there. Leamington, Nuneaton, and Bora are in there. I mean, that is a proper local derby, including Nuneaton. and Rushton and Diamonds in the league too. So a number of local teams in there as well. It's going to be a tough league to get out of. We have to avoid relegation. That's the objective of the board. As for the competitions, we've got the Southern League Cup which we enter in the second round, the FA Trophy, which we enter in the third qualifying round, and the FA Cup, which we enter in the first qualifying round this time, so we don't have that game uh, before the league season starts this year. Now the signing through the door, right wing guy, Lewis Gilboy comes in, decent physically, mental, not. Another signing in through the door, it is Lewis Gilboy, physicals look pretty good, again, strength is a little bit on the low side, technicals, okay, okay numbers where they need to be, probably, maybe on the low side mental's not great but he's another right winger that comes in and strengthens that position so elijah champ comes in on the left hand side of midfield he strengthens up that left hand side um nick jackson has moved out on loan so he pretty much comes in to replace him he is the best left winger at the club according to star rating physicals are pretty good good acceleration good agility good pace decent stamina strength and his jumping reach are very poor flair and work rate very good technique and passing also very good crossing's a little bit suspect as is his finishing so i'm not sure whether he's going to cut inside or stay wide because he's not particularly great at it either but it is another sign in through the door and it strengthens up that left wing position as we'd lose out on virtually every transfer target we go after we finally brought another player in 19 year old murphy parker he is an attacking midfielder slash central midfielder good first touch good technique good work rate physicals Pretty good in most areas. Good acceleration, good pace, good stamina. Natural fitness is okay. His agility is okay. Balance and jumping reach are questionable. Strength, again, a little bit questionable, especially for that centre midfield role. But if he does play in that attacking midfield role, hopefully it shouldn't matter as much. So welcome to the club, Murphy Parker. So as we're about to end the episode, we have brought two more players, two more fullbacks on either side. Harry Baker first in. He is a right back. Very good physicals. Mentals are pretty good where they need to be. Technicals not as good. <sighs> Another fullback that can't cross, but we need a bit of strength and depth in that fullback position. So he comes in on the right hand side. Joshua Bailey is the man who comes in on the left hand side. A lot of white. Again, decent physicals. Mentals look pretty good. Even his uh, technicals look 
pretty good. Decent crossing, decent marking, passing, tackling, technique, all pretty good there. Not great star rating wise, but he does strengthen that uh, fullback position. We pretty weak. We have struggled to bring in players in the fullback position in this episode. It's the only only position that I've been very disappointed. We've had a number of offers in for a lot of players, but we just haven't managed to get anything over the line. And before we leave, we'll just have a quick look at the season preview in the Southern League Premier Central. We are ninth, 12 to 1. I think we were actually higher than that at one point. Maybe our transfer business hasn't been as good as I thought it had been. Brackley up there, favourites, evens. Hensford, Nuneaton Borough, Tamworth, Stourbridge, Bromsgrove, Halzone and Stratford all above us. But we're going to bring the episode to a close there. We open the season in the next episode with a trip to St. Ives. I believe it's a trip to St. Ives. No, it's a home game against St. Ives. I've got the team right. We've got a home game against St. Ives before we go to Russian and Diamonds and Stourbridge. We'll probably play the first three games in that episode. Maybe go to the Redditch game, depending on how things are going. But... It's a very exciting time. We are not one of the favourites for relegation. We hopefully can push on. And we are one division below the base game, Vanarama National League North and South. That is a great achievement to have done in the first three seasons. I don't expect promotion this season. I think it might be a two or three year job to make it to the Vanarama National League South. But we'll do what we can do. And if you've enjoyed today's episode, if you've enjoyed the transfers that we have made, on this approach towards the Vanarama National League Regional Divisions. Please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time for the start of Season 4.